now take you back to an effective way of teaching composition writing. Take it step by step. There is no way you are going to tell the student, today we are going to do composition writing. And yet, you have not gone to different steps. I like this method of teaching composition. Because a composition writing, first of all, please tell the student it must have a storyline, a plot. And that plot must have a beginning. A composition must have an introduction. We are teachers, we all know that. So lesson one, week one, please teach introduction only. How to introduce a captivating the moment papers land in neck, the examiners have it. The first paragraph tells us that this is a center that has been taught composition well. Introducing composition. Because the plot of a composition begins with an introduction. After the introduction, we have what we call the climax. And then the resolution. And in between here is where we will introduce conflict. Look at that. In the introduction of conflict, we call it the rising action. Then up here, we have the conflict itself. It is having a climax. Then we have the falling action. And in the falling action is where the student will have an attempt to resolve the conflict. An attempt to resolve the conflict. Without wasting time, how many lessons will you have? You'll have week one, deal with the introduction of it. Week two, let teach how to introduce a conflict. Week three, go to the climax. Week four, attempt to resolve the conflict. Finally, week five, the resolution. Then I'll go to the next week. Allow me to begin with introducing a composition. Now, gentlemen and ladies, in introducing a composition, there are several ways of introducing a composition. Imagine the first lesson, you are beginning with introducing a captivating composition using characters. And these characters are either your protagonist or antagonists. Look at that. That will be just thinking about characters. Beginning a composition is by introducing a setting. This is where now you introduce your composition by describing the setting where the story will take place. Number three, using a flashback as your introduction. And lastly, ladies and gentlemen, the students can use a dramatic introduction where you are allowed to use a dialogue. And you see, it cannot even go just one last one lesson you can deal with the characters of. Second lesson you deal with setting. The third one, flashback. Then after
They've gotten them from the class leaders. Take a description. Do not begin a composition immediately with the conflict. We'll introduce the conflict in the second paragraph. Let the student just teach how to describe a character. We describe characters using the physical features. Physical features of a character. The character traits. Their actions. What they're doing. And their reactions. How they react. Character traits. Physical feature. They are dressing. How they're dressed. How they act. And how they react towards something. I will use one example. Picture this. Picture this. Why am I doing this? This will help the student to avoid that introduction that they do. It was on a Monday morning. I woke up early. I padded my hooves to the front skin dog. Then I had my mother cooking a catalyzing breakfast. Wow, I love eggs. Not attractive. A discreet. But when a student begins this way, Melinda, Melinda, Melinda. This lady almost took my life. As I stand at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, I remember her very well. Right from the staccato movement, as she came forward, to say good morning to me, and the rest is history. She embarked from the plane and walked majestically, smiling wryly at me. A closer scrutiny at her made me stand again. Melinda was the most beautiful woman I had ever seen. She had worn a maroon figure hardly dress and the pink stilettos accentuated well with the gold earrings and other adornments. She came forward and gave me a hug. Tight, tight, tight. The devil incarnate. Little did I know that Melinda was a green snake in a green glass full stone. An examiner would want to read more about the data. So as you are teaching the student, just tell them, describe for me the character only. They'll be using the stylistic devices and this will bring what we call attractiveness in the composition. In the composition, we want attractiveness. Another thing, they'll stop this idea of saying it was on Christmas holiday, it was on a Monday holiday. Imagine you practicing this for two times. No matter how the entry behavior of your student is, they will try to write something. They will write something. And remember, you can even train them on two compositions only. One where they did evil and they were punished, and another one where they did good and they were rewarded a virtue and rewarded that is what makes sense the strength they want to very well another way is using the setting the setting is where a student writes a composition and begins with describing the place where the story took place One, I'll describe a setting of a funeral. The other one, I'll describe a poor man's house. Look at this. The student begins this way. And remember setting again, we use vivid descriptions. Poverty is taking. The house was not 
even an abode that anybody would call a home. My grandmother was seated next to the hut, trying to make some breakfast for us. I sat on the other floor. It was cold, very cold. As I looked up on the grass touched tops, I saw a spider spinning a web as if spinning the sad story, the story of my life that maybe will never be complete. The muddy wall was cracked and two cockroaches were busy moving up and down. The foldable Makuti chairs that were rackety were what my grandmother owned. Turning down memory lane, I hate to remember the death of my parents that led me into this sad life. Full stop. The story that shows a very simple story that Student describe where he is. Picture this next one. Mourners throughout our home state. Sad, melancholy songs were being sung. The white casket in front of our house was looking beautiful, and inside there lay my sister. Moments later, Pastor Ken started preaching in vigor. One look at my sister's husband made me even hate him more. The misdemeanor that he did was the worst crime in passion that had ever happened in our county. Poop, pa, poop, the clothes of soil hit the white casket. We threw the white roses on top of the casket, bidding farewell to my sister. Love, oh love, did she have to die so early? A rose flower plants in the early stages. I remember very well how Ken killed my sister. Full story. These are students who sees all this. They read them. So when you teach that time, just move to the setting room. And after that lesson, we have done character lesson. Please give them an example of a composition you have created 